Hello guys, I'm Pele here bringing you an M4 16 review. Um, in this review I'll be comparing it to its NX counterpart, the M4 16 CQB. Um, I already did a review on the M4 16 CQB, so if you want to check that review out and learn more about the CQB, you can do that. Um, uh, okay, but anyway, uh... This gun, before I get to the stats, is overall, it's a great gun. Um, if you can't get the CQB, this is the next best thing. And uh, if you're not good at controlling recoil like with the G360, then this is your gun. Um, yeah, This, this gun is uh, pretty good. Um, it's unlocked at a decently low rank MSG1. Um, some of you may think of that as a high rank, but I don't really think about it as that high of a rank. Um, yeah, uh, it's unlocked at MSG1, as I already said and just mentioned, um, and overall, great gun, kind of pricey though, 1,100 GP, uh, And then you also have to buy the scope for it, which you kind of have to. Scope gives you a lot of control over it. Um, yeah, uh, but I really like this gun, and I would highly recommend it to you. So if you're not good at controlling recoil and don't have any NX, I'd get this gun. It's a great gun, low recoil. Uh, yeah, it's just an overall great gun. Um... Its damage is 38, um, the CQB's damage is 39, which is only one point higher, and it doesn't really make a difference, and they would be a 3-hit kill, or 4-hit, depending on the range. Stats say it's 3-hit, but it's more like 4-hit. Um... Portability, um, the portability on the M416 is, um, 66, while, er, my, er, not 66, that's the CQB. The portability on the M416 is 62, um, which is four lower than the M416 CQB, which really isn't that big of a difference. It's not too noticeable, but, yeah, it's... There's a difference in the stats, which really isn't that big. And everything else, though, the stats are exactly the same. Um, such as the rate of fire, which is 74. Um, that guy, I don't think I kill. He keeps on popping back in and out of the tower, which gets which annoys me. Um, the rate of fire is 74 on both of them. Uh, Although I tap fire with them most of the time, even though you don't really have to. You can just go full auto, especially with the CQB. But with the uh, GP M416, uh, you can't go full auto as well, but you still can. I would still recommend that you tap fire, but you don't have to. You won't be completely off, but you're, you'll be better off and more accurate if you tap fire. Um, their accuracy is 80, um, which is pretty good. Um, pretty high accuracy, which is uh, nice for tap firing. Um, when I'm scoped in, it hits right where the dot is. If you watch closely, you'll be able to see it. Um, Recoil. Recoil is 63 um, on both of them. Uh, you don't really notice it after you use the gunner a while. Um, it seems like it's no recoil at all. If you play in the uh, Rex server um, and you get the uh, super concentration ability in the Rex server, then this gun, then this gun and the CQB have literally zero recoil. Um, and 
when your spread is on someone's head, that's where it's going to hit. So, that's really nice. Uh, but yeah. Um. Yeah. Um. Yeah, but I would recommend tap firing with these, uh. You don't have to tap fire with them necessarily. Um. Because their recoil isn't that bad. You don't really, um. It's there, you can tell for the first two or three shots, but after that, it settles out and really doesn't move at all after the first two or three shots. Then you can just bring your crosshair back down. Like right there, you see how it goes up for the first two or three shots, then just levels out as I'm tap firing. Um, yeah, that's really all there is to say. Um... I would highly recommend it to anybody who can shoot a gun on combat arms. Um, this is a fail here. I don't kill anybody. I had a chance to kill two people, but I didn't kill anybody. And he semied me from behind. I hate semis. Don't know why I complain about them. Don't know why other people complain out about them, but I just do. I hate them. It's because they fire faster than bolt actions, which makes them annoying. But yeah, um, yeah. Um, my next review will pro probably be the M4A1 CQBR. Um, my cousin Demon will be suiciding for me, or letting him, or letting me use his gun. Uh, yeah. Um, I've talked longer than I thought I actually would. Um, this entire review is about ten minutes, forty seconds or so long. Um, I doubt I'm going to take up the next two minutes, um, because this review is pretty much over. There's really not much more to say about this gun other than it is a great gun. Um, I love it. I recommend it to anybody who can get it. Um, aim for the head while tap firing. And you will probably hit them in the head. Um, I would not recommend a uh, reflex scope. I would recommend an ACOG. Um, either ACOG, whichever one you choose. Or that tri-scope or whatever it's called with the white thing on top. But yeah, that or either ICOG. I would recommend either either of those. I wouldn't put a uh, reflex scope on on this though, or CUB scope or whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah. Uh, not really too much to say about it. Um, yeah, great gun overall. I'd highly recommend it. Um. If you want to learn more about the M416 CQB, watch my review um on it. Um I will I'm yeah, I'll put the uh link in the description. Um Yeah. Uh the M416 CQB re review is my first one, I believe. Uh my first video was a, a Snow Valley gameplay video. But uh the CQB review was my first review that I put up. Um, and I have taken up more time than I thought I actually would. Um, this review is just about over. Um, I have less than a minute left. Um, I might end this review a few seconds early because I will have run out of things to talk about, but yeah, um, my next review will be a 
M416, or er, excuse me, M4A3, er, yeah, M4A3 CQBR review. Uh, yeah, um, it's a pretty good gun. I've used it a lot before. Um, and yeah, uh, that's about it. Um, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you later.